UFC champion comes out in favor of the Canadian people, rails on Justin Trudeau, the Canadian media, and wokeism in general. Now, Joe Rogan was famous for calling Justin Trudeau a creepy dictator. Now, he's not the only person in mixed martial arts that doesn't have an affinity for the Canadian Prime Minister. In fact, uh, Ian Strickland had some words with a Canadian reporter recently, and he berated him. It was amazing. Let me get into that. But before I get into the clip, here is... Uh, the Canadian media writing about this confrontation. UFC Sean Strickland berates reporter an anti-LGBTQ. You're forgetting the 2S. Come on, you bigots. <laughs> Global News, what are you doing? Anti-Trudeau rant. And this is, of course, the same ilk that he was railing against writing about him. UFC champion Strickland unleashed an expletive-laced tirade against a reporter, Justin Trudeau, and the people in the LGBTQ Two, you got the two right <laughs> community during a media event in Toronto. Tr Strickland is the current middleweight champion and is in Toronto for the roundup of Saturday's USC match at Scotia Bank. He'll be facing off against South African MMA fighter uh, Drikus Duplesis, and hopefully uh, he fares well. We'll see how that goes. Now, this went out all over social media. This went viral. He's this is him railing on the Canadian public. Now, I painstakingly went through and I dropped all the f bombs so that you can <laughs> you can have this video playing with uh, other people in the room. You don't have to put headphones or earmuffs on your kids. So please hit a like, hit the like button for that. Uh, let's uh, get into this clip. Uh, we've got a pretty supportive gay and lesbian yeah. community in this city. I did want to ask you about something you wrote a couple of years ago. You said, if I had a gay son, I would think I'd... Oh, look, another, another, I'm saying to you, the swamp, you guys, the swamp. you become a champion, you become a star, and, and someone's... Let me ask you something. Are you, are you, are you gay? No, are you, are, are, are you, let me know, are, are you gay? Can I hear, can I get an answer? Well, no, I'm asking, I'm, this is a part of the, are you, are you a gay man? I'm an ally of the community. Okay. If you had a son and he was like, you know, you had a son, he was gay, you'd be like, oh man, you don't, you don't want a grandkid? No problem with it. Oh man, well, you, dude, you're a weak f man, dude. You're like, you're part of the f problem. You elected Justin Trudeau. Like, would you f when he sees the bank accounts, like you're just f pathetic. And and the fact that the fact that you have no f backbone and and has he shut down your f country and seized bank accounts? You ask me some stupid sh like that. Go f yourself. Move the. F on, man. Now, this is a lot of people are, <laughs> I mean, been railing against the media because the media was in lockstep with Justin Trudeau when he was seizing the bank accounts of uh, peaceful truckers two years ago as they went to Ottawa to protest against government mandates. Uh, on that was, they were they were awarded they were called heroes until the moment they stepped against Justin Trudeau and the media went in lockstep with that so yes he's calling them cowards for that and then also for spreading this ideology this wokeism answer the question but I did want to ask also things you said about the trans community you said uh, this past October when they announced the Bud Light sponsorship that you'd go so hard on Bud Light in your next fight they'll have to accept me or denounce me when uh, when they know what and will know what they stand for are you this guy's like hey, this Canadian's not that Canadian are you still going to use your fight time to kind of speak on that here's the thing about Bud Light here's the thing about Bud Light 10 years ago to be trans was a what a mental illness and now all of a sudden people like you have weaseled your way in the world you are you are an infection you are the definition of weakness. Everything that is wrong with the world is because of you. And the best thing is, is the world's not buying it. The world's not buying your bullshit, your peddling. The world is not saying, you know what? You're right. Chicks have dicks. The world's not saying that. The world's saying, no, there are two genders. I don't want my kids being taught about, you know, who they could school. I don't want my kids being taught about, you know, their sexual preference. Like, dude, this guy is the enemy. Uh, you want to look at the enemy to our world? It's that motherfucker right there. <laughs> and so the media, uh, of course, is objecting to this, calling it a tirade. Uh, but this is uh, largely what people are thinking and are afraid of saying on social media as 
the media, social media, well, they, they've been pretty instrumental in shutting people down for saying things that they want to say. Now, he's come out and said it exactly. Now, Sean Strickland coming out again at another press conference, <laughs> this time wearing a Strickland shirt with a maple leaf saying, make Canada great again. This is too funny. Love it. Love seeing this because people, <laughs> people resonate with this kind of sentiment. Uh, they're tired of being browbeaten by cry bullies and this is what they are the cry bullies crying about their feelings while everybody else is suffering in Canada people are dealing with all kinds of problems that aren't problems of pronouns they're problems of not being able to afford uh, houses not being able to afford groceries these are real problems that are largely being ignored by the media and our political class and this is a guy who's out here saying it for Canadians and and being a champion for the people here now of course again lots of f-bombs so I had to uh, do a quick edit of this uh, make sure you hit that like button. But when have you ever seen a UFC champion, George St. Pierre, or anybody else stick up for you fucking guys? I fucking do it. I do it. I am not chasing the Chinese check mark of Nike. I don't give a f about that. I care about you guys. I care about you guys being free. I care about you guys having freedom of speech. I give a f about you guys, and I'll tell you what, you guys are f***ing awesome, and I cannot wait for this man to f go to war for you f***ing guys. Let's go. So you won't see him in the next uh, Disney Pixar film, but <laughs> he's definitely getting out there. He's winning fights, and he's seeing a, a piece of his mind. He's giving people a piece of his mind, and people are resonating with it. Now, Justin Trudeau, on the other hand, was in none of it recently. And well, let's just say they're having none. It's in the name. It's in the name. They're having none of it. But <laughs> this is what he, he was asked about where he's going to go forward as they're going into campaigning territory. We don't know when the next election is going to be, but there's rumors that it may happen even this year. So uh, here's what he had to say. Well, I think Canadians, not just in Nunavut, but right across the country are going to have a really important choice coming up in the next election. Do we want to continue to fight climate change? Do we want to still uh, continue to look at uh, responsible partnerships, uh, working together to solve big issues? Do we want to continue to work towards reconciliation as an explicit goal and a journey that Canada's on? Those are the kinds of questions people are going to have, have to ask themselves in the next election because the Conservative Party under Pierre Paul. I'll give you a quick answer to that. No, they don't want any of that stuff. We've got eight years of that and we can't afford to live in this country anymore. Uh, but go on. Tell us about how the Conservatives are doing something bad. Yep, has made it very, very clear that they want to take Canada backwards in all those ways and more. Uh, and I look forward to having these conversations with Canadians in Nunavut and right across the country. Uh, but for now and for the next uh, year and a half plus, we have a lot of work to do and we're going to keep rolling up our sleeves and doing it together. Oh, they're going to keep rolling up their sleeves all right. That's what they're going to That's actually funny because that's all they've been telling us that we need to do. And uh, a lot of people have been suffering for it. Now, we are not, we are going backwards under the Trudeau government. Uh, we can see the GDP or our, our growth in Canada per capita is actually doing completely horrible. We're, we're, in a terrible situation where also National Bank is saying that Canada has entered the first population trap in modern history, something that normally only happens to third world countries where, where the population surges so fast, it actually impedes on economic growth. But this is where we're at in Canada and people are absolutely suffering. So let me know what you think. Of course, uh, they're criticizing the conservatives, yet they're taking conservative talking points and going ahead after eight years. Now it's suddenly an issue and the Trudeau government wants to do something about the housing situation. Now they're making promises of future future developments in in the long distant future. Liberals keep announcing small amounts of new home builds over the next decade while maintaining their target of 500,000 immigrants per year indefinitely. Total less than 400 homes in 10 years, more than 500, 5 million immigrants 
do the math. Do the math. Is it is it is it more Trudeau that we actually want in Canada? I think I'm gonna side with the UFC champion and say. Yeah, probably not. Anyway, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about all of this. Is it is it right to go out and say things in expletives and, and trounce on the media and Trudeau and wokeism? I tend to think it is. Uh, I, I tend to do it without all the F-bombs, but let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see. Don't forget to tune in live tonight at 9 30 Eastern. We are going to be live and we have a special guest, David Zhang from China Insider. Looking forward to it. We'll see you then. Keep on trucking.